didn't know the camera was on. <laughs> or in the polar vortex. <laughs> it is tonight, literally, friends, minus 40 degrees Celsius. If you're an American friend and you use Fahrenheit, go Google what minus 40 Celsius is. It's cold, that's what it is. We just got in from groceries and I still got to wear my muffs because it's too cold. In this kind of weather, literally in three minutes or less, you can get frostbite. And we ran from the grocery store to the car and our hands were numb and my nostrils were stuck together. I was drinking a protein shake and my lips froze together when we got out. Too of bad it wasn't permanent, right guys? Losing weight, it's not just a physical thing. It's here and it's here. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up. How rude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get down to business, shall we? Now, even though we're in the midst of a polar vortex winter, we're starting a series. Spring leaning. No, no. Spring leaning or what do we want to call it we were saying spring leaning or leaner by the day leaner by the day maybe we'll go with leaner by the day but i like spring leaning so we can talk about that in the, in the video we'll probably title it leaner by the day so we're not going to wait till the weather gets nicer to get leaned out we want to look good before we have to remove layers of clothing yeah so we've already started we've already lost both about 10 pounds each, yep. I would say. I'm down to like, last week, I'll update you guys after the series is over what I'm down to, but I'm down to 234 weight wise and I was up at about 244. And my body fat is down about 3%, but like our scale, the home scales are not very accurate. So you take yeah. it with a grain of salt, right? With the body fat, because me and Nicole it also weighs have, our loose skin. it weighs our loose skin and stuff. So it's not very accurate with that. But weight wise, right. we're down, I'm down about 10 pounds. And when our, my lowest weight after we lost 130 pounds was 145. But when we were having the cheat days and I was building muscle, I also gained some of the weight back in muscle and some body fat. So I went up to 157 and now I'm back down to 147. So I'm hoping to get under my lowest at some point. So, yeah. And I've dropped about 5% body fat and this has been since Christmas. So now I'm looking to get under my lowest, which was 145. Yeah, and so we figured perfect opportunity. Let's start a new mini series, Leaner by the Day. And this is day one, the dancing video. No, the grocery haul. Yeah. So this is Leaner by the Day, episode one, the groceries. The groceries. You gotta say traumatic, man. The groceries. The groceries. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna show you what we got and Stay tuned because we'll show you what we make in a meal prep video. We're gonna do meal prep, we're gonna do full day of eating. We got some cool stuff planned. Yeah, so stick around. All right, you wanna see the food? Come on. Sweet potatoes, one double our, bagged. And one still poking. And poking. One of our favorite carbohydrates on the planet, sweet potatoes. They are so versatile and so good. And slow digesting that's the key and you can make them into anything you want yeah that's what versatile means yeah except maybe not gold but gold yeah we well, can't make them into anything but if you if you made them into gold you couldn't eat them then yeah that's what i mean you can't make them into anything <laughs> <laughs> and pepper you gotta have your leaky pepper. Yeah, this is a weight loss supplement. You wanna take two tablespoons, dry in your mouth, <laughs> and swallow. And now, then, do not do that. This is just pepper for our food. And then sneeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby spinach, we have a big one and a little one. We like to get these because 
it's already cleaned and prepped for you and you literally just measure it in your bowl and eat it. And if you're from Canada, these groceries are from Freshco and Walmart. And the meat is from Real Canadian Superstore. Right. Vegetables, we have three bags of frozen broccoli and three bags of frozen cauliflower. We have two bags of this field berry blend, which is blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries. Then we have two packages of, of extra lean, thinly sliced black forest ham. This stuff is super good and super lean. A dozen eggs. Sauerkraut for Baba because Cola does not like sauerkraut. Now, we've been researching some gut health um, foods and supplements and because we want to get leaned out and get rid of bloating is very important for leaning out. Um, I was researching and I found that fermented foods like sauerkraut are actually very good for digestion. I've actually, this is my second jar and I'm finding it um, actually pretty helpful and I'm feeling way leaner in the, especially in the morning I wake up my I can suck in my stomach a lot more and also I eat that pre-workout it's got a nice sodium kick there's no added sugar and the salt gives me an extra pump at the gym which is a bonus I I ate some but I can't do the texture it's too squishy I'm a baby when it comes to sauerkraut so I eat pickles and stuff. <laughs> so that's the same thing, right? So we got some baby dill pickles with garlic. I'll show you what I, I do for gut health, the friends, in a minute. Steel cut oats, one bag. And these are the quick cook steel cut oats. Four containers of the 1% cottage cheese, a um, Sort of Frenchish English side there. Oh, yeah, why we switch if you don't know guys we switch from normal oatmeal to steel cut Because of digestive and bloating issues. We find this is much better on our systems the steel cutouts. Yep Then we got the lactose free yogurt because the non the lactose kind was all gone because it was on sale so this is the plain fat-free Greek yogurt that is lactose-free, and that, we have four of them. That also kind of works with the non-lactose should, you know, we don't, we're not lactose intolerant per se, but we do find like certain things, like when we used to eat ice cream and stuff on cheat day, that would definitely bloat us. So the yeah. lactose-free, we'll see what happens. Then we got some baby carrots, big bag. Then we love this stuff, Mrs. Butterworth's No Sugar Added Syrup. We add that to our yogurt, to our protein pancakes. We have five containers of egg whites. Natural crunchy peanut butter. Crunchy is our favorite. This is what I do for gut health is the kombucha, if that's how you say it. No, you're or, wrong. Or is kombucha. It kombucha. Let the friends say, does Kyle say it right or does me say it right? <laughs> We're probably both wrong. <laughs> probably. Okay, tell the friends, you got to tell us how you say that. And if any of you tried this, let us know and let us know other good flavors. We've had, we've tried this and the Synergy Trilogy flavor, which is really good. It's like more of a raspberry. This is more of a ginger flavored. And I notice every time I take that, drink that, just a small shot of it, I feel a lot leaner and it really helps with my digestion. Again, friends, if you're unfamiliar with kombucha or kombuka, it is a um, fermented black tea with uh, active um, yeast or active, not yeast, active bacteria, like the good bacteria cultures in the bottom you can see there. And anyways, another thing supposed to help with gut health and digestion also this time of year boosts immune, um, the immune system, which will be a benefit for us too. Yep. And then we got this Olive Garden light Italian dressing. And we got this to marinate our meat for the week. We're going to marinate our chicken legs. We got two packages of chicken legs and a package of drumsticks because they were all on sale. And then for... Our other set of meat, we got some of these boneless pork chops. 
and we got two sets of those. And then we got a couple more things. These are Stevia sweetened chocolate chips and I really enjoy adding four or five to my French toast, top my French toast with it in the morning or my protein pancakes. So I've been doing that. And this big vanilla, use it to flavor everything, French toast, protein pancakes, yogurt, the other, the cool thing is even though we're eating, you know, this is leaner by the day and we want to eat super clean, you still have to have small, you know, little treats sprinkled in here and there to keep you going because we are human. Yeah. So Last time I checked. Oh, I am. I don't know about this one. <laughs> I may be part alien. <laughs> That's why we have the syrup and these chocolate chips and you literally just add a couple. Um, don't, I don't add too many. Literally. And... That's it, Florida Gosweez. Yeah. So, welcome to the Lino Body Day series. Don't forget, okay, to stick with us, to like and subscribe, and get your notifications on so that you know when the rest is coming out. We're gonna be lean bears. We're gonna be lean bears, you got it? We lost a lot of weight, but then we were like, hey, we're kind of puffy bears. Yeah. So we wanna be lean bears. So now so. we're gonna be re-leaning bears again. And we're gonna get even leaner than we were before. We like to challenge ourselves to get out of our comfort zones. And the last series we did, the Keto by the Day series, was fun. Tried it, went into it, you know, um, did our best on it. And now we're gonna try this clean eating, leaner by the day series. Eh. See how it goes. We'll try it for you and we're gonna share all the results. So, stick around. Check it out because we're going to have more stuff. You're going to see what we're going to make with those things. And don't forget to like and subscribe or what? What? You know. You know this. <laughs> no, we don't know. Minus 40 earmuffs of doom. Whoa. The polar vortex of doom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a polar vortex. <laughs> you got trapped in a polar vortex. That's how you are. Uh, <laughs> oh, you. Come on out of the polar vortex. I'll save you. You saved me. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.